Ever wondered what makes your engine roar to life every time you turn the key? <laughs> well, it's all thanks to the ignition system, and more specifically, the ignition control module. This little powerhouse is like the brain of your car's ignition system, making sure everything fires up smoothly. But what happens when it goes bad? Stick around as we break it down for you. The ignition system plays a crucial role in generating the spark needed to ignite the air fuel mixture within the combustion chambers. The ignition control module ensures that the spark occurs at the precise moment and frequency required for efficient combustion. It receives input from sensors such as the camshaft position sensor or crankshaft position sensor to determine the correct timing known as base timing. All right, folks, let's get down to business and talk symptoms. When your ignition control module decides to act up, it's like your car decided to hit the snooze button and refuses to wake up. But fear not, my friends, we're going to dive into each of these symptoms one by one and uncover what they mean for your ride. Number one is engine misfires. Engine misfires are a common indication of a faulty ICM. When the ICM fails to provide accurate timing signals to the ignition coil, it can result in misfires, causing the engine to run unevenly or even stall. Misfires are often noticeable during acceleration or at higher speeds. Number two is difficulty in starting the engine. A problematic ICM can lead to difficulty starting the engine, particularly when the engine is cold. Number three is poor fuel efficiency. A defective ICM can disrupt the precise timing of the ignition system, leading to poor fuel efficiency. Inefficient combustion can result in decreased miles per gallon and reduced overall fuel economy. Number four is increased emissions. Improper combustion due to a malfunctioning ICM can lead to higher emissions. Unburned fuel passing through the exhaust system can contribute to increased emissions and potential failure in emissions tests. Number five is illuminated check engine light. A failing ICM can trigger the vehicle's onboard diagnostic system, causing the check engine light to illuminate. Number six on our checklist, error codes. One of the handiest tools you can have is a DTC scanner. This little gadget is like having your own personal car detective. Just plug it in and scan for error codes. Specifically, when it comes to the ignition system, pay close attention to codes like P0300 to P0399. Number seven is engine hesitation. A malfunctioning ICM may cause engine hesitation or sluggishness during acceleration. This hesitation occurs when the spark plugs do not fire precisely as needed, affecting the engine's responsiveness. Number eight is random loss of power. A faulty ICM can lead to sudden loss of power while driving, posing a safety risk. This loss of power can result in reduced acceleration, making it challenging to navigate traffic or maintain a consistent speed. And number nine is overheating. In some cases, a malfunctioning ICM can contribute to engine overheating. Misfires and inefficient combustion caused by the faulty ICM can lead to increased engine temperature. What causes the malfunction of ignition control module? All right, let's dig into what can cause the malfunction of an ignition control module. There are several potential culprits, so let's break them down one by one. Number one is incorrect voltage supply. Damage to ignition cables or a drop in battery output can result in insufficient voltage supply to the ignition control module. This can prolong the time needed to charge the ignition coil. Number two is heat and temperature fluctuations. Extreme heat or temperature fluctuations can affect the performance and reliability of electronic components, including the ignition control module. Number three is electrical overload. Voltage spikes in the vehicle's electrical system can overload the ignition control module, leading to malfunctions. Number four is poor grounding. A poor or corroded ground connection can disrupt the proper functioning of the ignition control module. Number five is moisture and corrosion. Exposure to moisture and corrosion is a common cause of ICM failure. Water and corrosive elements can infiltrate the module, causing internal damage. Number six is age and wear. 
Like all electronic components, ignition control modules have a limited lifespan and may degrade over time due to age and wear. Number seven is manufacturing defects. While rare, manufacturing defects can also contribute to ICM failure. Flaws in the design or production process may result in a module that is prone to premature failure. Number eight is faulty electrical system. Issues with the wiring harness, connectors, or blown fuses in the ICM circuit can lead to module failure. Regular inspection and maintenance of the vehicle's electrical system can help prevent such issues. All right, let's talk about how to test the ignition control module. If you suspect that your car isn't starting because of a faulty ICM, it's time to put it to the test. Testing the ignition control module might sound daunting, but don't worry, we've got you covered. There are a few different methods you can use, but remember to handle electrical components with care. Let's dive in and get that ICM tested. Testing the ignition control module with a multimeter. It's a straightforward process that anyone can do, but it's crucial to follow the steps carefully to get accurate results. Let's get started. First, connect the red lead of a multimeter to the positive terminal of the coil and attach the black lead to the battery's negative terminal. Then switch the ignition to the run position and observe the voltage readings on the multimeter. If no voltage is detected, there may be an issue with the wire, circuit, or module. Next up, we have method two, testing the ignition control module with a spark plug tester. This method is another reliable way to diagnose potential issues with your ICM. Let's dive right in. Utilize a spark plug tester as per the product's instructions. With the spark plug properly set, have an assistant start the engine while you observe the transparent side of the tester. If no spark or glow is observed, there may be a problem with the ignition control module or control circuit. And now we're on to method three, testing the ignition control module with a multimeter. Yes, we're revisiting this handy tool. Stick around as we guide you through the process step by step. Let's get started. First, locate the ignition control module. Then securely connect the red terminal of the multimeter to the ignition control module's output. After that, ground the black cable of the multimeter to the metal frame of the car. Then set the multimeter to measure amps. Then, have an assistant start the car while you observe the multimeter for any current reading. Ensure safety as you monitor the multimeter for a current reading. Check the current in the multimeter. If no current is detected, it may indicate a malfunction of the ignition control module. 